So 90 Days to Maui, what is it? It is an adventure. I am overweight, uncoordinated, over 40, and I have decided, you know, it's gonna be a brilliant idea. Let's learn to surf. So I want more adventure in my life, and I'm gonna give this a go. Now, I am in no condition to get up on a surfboard. I will probably damage myself if I attempt it right now. However, I have vision of safely surfing um, in Maui when I go to see my best friend in about 90 days. So I'm having a 90 day to Maui challenge and that's what this is all about. So welcome to my adventure. Thanks. <laughs> Let's see, today is day 11 and um, I've decided, um, well I've, I've dropped two, 2.3 pounds, like one kg in 10 days. And um, I've been doing the exercises, but I've been kind of eating, eating relatively healthy, but I've still had the odd, yeah, more than the odd, but you know, sugar and stuff like that. So um, probably a couple of things a day. So what I'm gonna do um, this week, for the next 10 days, I'm committing to not having any sugar, like refined sugar, with the exception of um, two to three pieces of fruit that go in my smoothie first thing in the morning. Um, now this, I struggle with. I am a sugar addict and like, yeah, like it's a, that's hard. And I've gone on and off sugar so many times in my life, I can't even think straight about it. Um, but I'm gonna try again, try again. Um, I mean, the good thing is, the thing that I can say and that I've been watching is, um, my health has been getting better. Like I went all, I had discovered last year that I was, um, gluten intolerant, which, yeah, and now I can't, if I have anything that has gluten in it, I get violently ill. Not good. But, um, if I, um... Yeah, the only time I've actually missed work in, like, as long as I can remember um, was this one day where um, Emma had baked some cookies and she made gluten-free ones and she made non-gluten-free ones and I was so excited about them that I got them mixed up and I ate um, one that was non-gluten-free. Or actually, I just took a bite of it. She caught it and I spit it out, but I had already swallowed one bite and hmm, it was not good. The next day I was just in bed. Well, I, yeah, not good, not good. Um, so anyway, I got rid of flour and that was relatively easy because if I look at it, I basically get sick. Well, sugar is not the same. And like even today, um, I decided, yes, I'm gonna do this. And um, my dinner was a green curry and it was delicious. And I realized why it was so damn delicious because it was actually quite sweet. And then I came home and we were unpacking the groceries and without even consciously realizing I was doing it, I peeled a mandarin and started eating it and got halfway through it before I even woke up and realized what I was doing, that that was not what I wanted to do. And I gave it, gave the other half away to Craig, but it just made me realize how kind of, um, how rote, how just strongly patterned it is in my body. Um, that I want sugar, 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 especially at night. So, it's going to be a 10-day white knuckling, getting off the sugar, and see how that goes. So, it's, um, I mean, I have, I have tried so many different things. I have tried, um, hypnotism. I have tried, um, going on an extreme, um, what is it, candida cleanse. I have tried, um... And all of these I have done and completed, and it just, it comes back like this nasty beast. So anyway, I accept that I am truly addicted to sugar, and I will do everything I can uh, to get off it. So, yay, here we go. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is my workout for today. Right, see you soon. Bye. See how my knee tracks? with only the right hand. Oh, and reach back with the left. Oh, oh let's hold that big, deep breath. Feet and knees together. Oh, okay. It's even hard for me to cue and talk to you. Ready? Switch it up.